Hi, it's Lynette here. So thank you for joining me today. So today I did a little bit of a haul. I um, had to go into the bank. Can you see my pencil pop behind me? Normally sits on my desk, but um, I've just popped up there because I'm running out of room. Um, so what was I saying? I'll start again, Lynette. Um, I had to go into town to pop a check into the bank. And when I was doing that, I passed a store that I haven't seen in ages, pound stretchers. So um, I had a wee look, I went in and I thought I'd pick up some bits and pieces um, and I thought I think I've got enough to do a little haul video just to show you what I've got. So I have the receipt somewhere because pound stretchers is different to pound land. Um, it, it's kind of cheap um, but not everything's a pound although saying that pound land's not everything in Poundland's a pound anymore anyway. So I thought I'd have a wee look in and I picked up some different bits and pieces that I thought I would show you. And I've got the price here. I love, I'm weird, I just love popping at the different stores and I love stores like Home Bargains and Pound Stretchers and Poundland. So I picked up the Dove Soap. So it's a two pack and one is pink, soft and smooth. Um, it, there we go. And the other one is a Shea Butter. So Beauty Cream Bar with Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla Scent. So that's two there. So the two bars are, how much were they? One twenty nine. If you buy an individual bar for about 69 pence. But I picked up two, two of the pink and two of the Shea Butter. My hands are really, really drying out. Um, even with using um, hand cream, they're, they're really, really kind of drying out. And in between, my fingers really, really sore where the skin's kind of come away. But I've obviously not dried it properly. Um, so I thought if I try the Dove soap, that might be a bit more gentle alongside um, using the hand cream as well. So I'm quite happy to pick those up. I also picked this up. You knew you couldn't do a haul without a, a body wash or a shower gel. I picked this up because I love the smell. So it's Jelly Belly and it's very cherry. Um, yeah, it'd probably make my son itch like mad, but anyway, I'll use this. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. So, yep, I had to pick that one up. There was loads of other ones, but I thought, I don't need chill gel, to be honest with you. And how much was that? That was £1.49, which wasn't too bad. I also picked up some sea salt with a grinder because... We ran out. I usually buy the Himalayan um, pink salt from B and M, but I haven't been near B and M for a wee while. So just picked up this salt grinder. Um, that was one ninety nine, which isn't too bad. I also picked up these uh, just to try them, just for something different. It's non bio laundry capsules and tropical and peony. So. I do like using different kind of scents and stuff. And because it's only kind of, we're not really trying to get stains out of clothes anymore. The, mainly I'm in the house and what have you. The biggest thing for me is the fact that I spill everything down my front. So I really need a bed. So those were £2.99. I was eating an egg and bacon roll earlier and I did actually use my kitchen roll as a bed. <laughs> I also picked up some West Lab reviving epsom salts um this was a small bag you could get bigger bags and i think this what does it say here so you could actually use it as a foot bath as well but um dissolve salts in a warm bath relax and soak for 20 minutes for general skin health and well-being add half to one a cup one to half to one cup um to your bath to relax tired and aching muscles two to four cups so that's 500 to 1 kilo. So this is 3.5, 350 grams. So you'd need a bigger one if it was to help your muscles. But I just thought I'd shove this whole thing in the bath and just kind of hopefully get some benefit from it. And the Epsom salts were, how much were they? 149. So the bigger ones were about 499, I think. But I thought I could just pick up a small one. And because I'm always picking up anything smelly, and I did have the um, the Yankee Candle one, uh, but this is Air, Air Clear Gel Sphere Magnolia and Cherry with Active Gel, gel Perils, and I really wanted to try that. Was that a pound? 
looks like it could have been a pound which I think is okay. Um, they had one loads of different scents as well, but I don't know what it's going to smell like until, until I open it. Um, but I thought, I'll give it a bash. The one that from the Yankee Candle wasn't particularly strong. Um, I've seen this quite a lot on Facebook. Now, I tried the Lenore one, wasn't very impressed, but this is the Fabulosa Spray and Wear. So it's Clean and Fresh Fabulosa Disinfectant Spray and Wear. So there we go. Although it says disinfectant, it's um it refreshes clothes and fabrics while eliminating 99.9% of bacteria that causes unpleasant smells. Spray and wear provides a wrinkle-free system and is gentle on your clothes and other fabrics. So it freshens up garments without having to wash and leaves them smelling fresh. Ideal for use for those in between wash loads. Spray and wear can be used on hard to wash items and soft surfaces. Up to 400 uses per bottle based on three sprays per use. So I actually bought this not so I could mask the smell of in between washes. I actually bought it to try and see if it would do that kind of um, wrinkle free kind of test that I've seen people using it and saying, oh, we don't have the iron, I've just used this. Um, so yeah, I'll do a wee video and let you know how I get on with that. They had it in this scent and they had it in another one. Um, and this was £1.49. Oh, it smells lovely. I don't know what precious gold smells like, but it does smell lovely. You wouldn't mind your clothes smelling like that. The Lenore one's lovely as well, but it's, it's quite strong. Um, and I did try it on my bed covers. I wasn't very impressed. Now, how have I ended up with an extra lid? Anyway, so I picked this up because, as you know, I kind of, or as you might not know, but I got quite a sensitive scalp. So this is L'Oreal LV Vital Clear Intensive 7 day Scalp Lotion. So it's pure essential oils, um, anti-dandruff. It says in seven days, visible flakes and reduced up to one month anti-recurrence effect. And this was £1.99. So what you do with this, um, so it says the longer anti-dandruff active actives are in contact with the scalp the more time they have to act so seven day scalp lotion is enriched with pure essential oils and octolamine um, for an um, intensive action targets i don't have dandruff but i've got i always suffer with a quite an itchy scalp so i was hoping it's going to help that um continuous use scalp is better protected from visible flakes for up to a month so you put it on dry hair use twice weekly applying the lotion from the the roots to the roots and the scalp section by section until you've covered the entire scalp do not rinse so you would put that on your hair twice a week um even though it says 70 scalp lotion you put it on twice a week and um i'm just kind of hoping it does help maybe even get rid of the build up because i've switched um shampoos and conditioners I've tried to find some natural beauty ones um, that have none of the nasties in them. And I'm kind of hoping that over time that any residue or build-up of, of previous product will come out of my hair. But I thought that this might kind of help it along. So anyway, um, I spent about £15. <laughs> I was just popping in for a wee nosy as well. Uh, but I thought, oh, everything, you know, that I got was something a wee bit different for me. So I thought you might like to see what I had bought today. And anyway, it's absolutely reason so i am um yeah i'm gonna go downstairs the heating's up but um yeah i might put a warmer jumper or something on um i don't know it's a big house but it's not that big but there's radiators in every room but it just kind of doesn't ever feel like it's kind of heating it up so i get a new boiler fitted 11th of january so two days of will be absolutely freezing while they're fitting it um and doing all the work required so yeah i'm looking forward to that see if it makes any difference I'm getting a combi boiler at the moment um it's not um so i will gain a linen cupboard which i'm quite excited about um i don't have a linen cupboard in here so my linen is in each of the kind of rooms respectively but i do like having a linen cupboard 
anyway i'm boring myself now <laughs> but um yeah i just kind of thought i would pop into poundies pound stretchers and and see what they had but yeah it's it's still the same shop that like you could pick up loads of different stuff kind of food storage household stuff um beauty pets christmas stuff yeah it was great could have wandered around it for ages so anyway thank you for watching i'll speak to you soon bye guys